Hey geniuses, in this lesson I want to show you how you can really quickly and easily customize different parts of your Lottie animations using CSS class names. So we're going to start off in After Effects with our Lottie animation and as you can see I've got quite a few layers. So for this to work, for us to be able to change the different colors of our animation in CSS on our website, what we need to do is give our body parts uh, a special name. So here I've got the hair, you can see a fill and a stroke of three pixels. And instead of hair outlines, I'm going to call it dot hair. And as you can see, that's how you call classes in CSS. And this also works for IDs. So if you wanted the hair to have an ID instead of a class, you just use hash and then hair. But for now, I'm just going to do dot hair and use that as a class name. So I'm just going to fill this out for all the different body parts that I want to customize. And then I'll show you in code how it works. So body and then let's do the arms. So dot arm right and dot arm left. And let's do the legs. Dot leg right and dot leg left. So really simple. Adding class names to our different layers. Save that and then go ahead and render out your animation as a Lottie using either body moving or the Lottie files extension. Okay, so now I'm in Code Pen and I've just quickly set up a container and then loading my animation with Lottie Web. And if you go ahead and inspect your animation, you should be able to find the classes that you defined in After Effects. So if we go up here, as you can see, with the body, class body. Okay, and let's just check the legs. Leg left, there we go. So our classes have been correctly applied and they're visible in the rendered SVG. So what we can do now in the CSS is go ahead and just do dot body and then path and give it a fill red. And there we go. We've changed our body and its fill color to red. Let's give him some orange pants. So leg left path fill orange and I can't type orange and the right one and let's do some purple arms arm left path fill purple as you can see super super easy to do and this means that you can apply these classes dynamically if you wanted to, swap out the colors uh, for whatever reason you wanted to. And just like that, you have customized your Lottie animation using CSS. Reload that, our classes have applied, our animation is playing fine. And voila, modify your Lottie dynamically using class names. Lovely stuff. If this video helps you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with everything happening in the wonderful world of Lottie Animations.